lives among us. Truly honor you, and we thank you, God, for you all this morning. Truly, God is up to something, and you are right. He said unto them, this is Jesus talking, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospels, the same shall be saved. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore shall say, shall be ashamed of me and of my words, in this adulterous and sinful generation of them, also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his Father mm -hmm. with the holy angels. Mm -hmm. the Lord had a rich blessing to read and endures of his word. Amen. 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 We come to give him thanks and give him glory. We come to lift our hands.
Our worship schedule for June 18th through the 24th, 2023 is as follows. Sunday school is at 9 a.m. Sunday school is at 9 a.m. Sunday school is the best school, amen. Sunday school is where we dive deep. Hallelujah. We have an awesome continent of breakfast for those of you who make that sacrifice to come out. We're going to feed you and feed you. Amen? Amen. Our morning worship is at 11 a.m. on Sundays. Youth Bible study is still canceled until July the 12th. Amen? Adult Bible study is at 7 p.m. This weekend is canceled for the revival. Hallelujah. Y'all praying for the women as they go forth? Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night at 7 p.m. We are excited. The month of June, we on fire at Angel of the Church of God Christ. Amen. Amen. We come into the throne with expectation. Hallelujah. We looking for God to do something. I'm going to go by God. We got a miracle working, God. Amen. Fridays, and don't forget our revival is this week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Invite somebody. Be the ride. Be the blessing. Now, we, I want to take you out. I want to take you somewhere. I got a gift for you. Amen. Amen. I, got, I got something special I want to share with you. Amen. Amen. Bring me down here to the church house. I promise you it's going to be life transforming. Amen. 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 Our special announcement. Well, today is Father's Day. Amen. And we'd like to say happy Father's Day to all you awesome, amazing fathers. Even those of you who fathered the fatherless. Amen. We want to celebrate you on today, too. Amen. Sister Ashley Mays has a special announcement as well. Today is the last day to let her know about your graduates. If you have any graduates in this month or last month, Get their name and the grade they graduated from to Sister Ashley May. She is our youth president. She's doing a phenomenal job with our youth. Amen. 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 We also, it's the summertime, you guys, and we know we want to have fun and, and be excited about this nice, good old weather, take the kids, do something to keep them busy, right? And Lancaster and Palmdale do what they call a beach trip. Amen. So from the Lancaster and the Palmdale, bus stations. They have buses that are leaving on a on a, a daily basis or whatever the schedule is, but they will take you guys to Santa Monica Pier. And you can do it individually, but we do it collectively as a church if you want to get together, the grandkids, the kids, and have a festive outing um, with some of us. You can see Sister Carol Williams, and she has all the information, but the, the uh, pamphlets are on our bulletin board in the back. It has the schedules, the days, the times, and everything. So we'll try to figure out a way to get that to our virtual family as well. Amen? Amen. Amen. Don't forget to pray for those on our prayer request and our thought for the day. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Matthew 5 and 16. Amen. Amen. I saw
fight, amen, for the Lord. Truly, we honor the Lord today, and we're so grateful for each of you, amen, being here on this morning, amen, and those who are streaming, we are praising God in advance for the blessings that the Lord is doing and what he is giving us on this morning. Hallelujah. We are thanking God for fatherhood. Amen. And we appreciate these fathers that are here. Amen. Amen. And what they are doing for their families. Amen. And we just honor them. Amen. And these husbands. We appreciate it. Amen. Fathers. Amen. All over the country. Praise God. The Lord is mighty. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful, amen, for you that are here today. Amen. And truly, we honor the Lord, and we give him all the glory and all the praise. Praise the Lord. Amen. In recognition to our fathers and, and to the saints, amen, we want to continue to keep them up in our prayers. Amen. So there is a great need, amen, for fathers, amen, to step up and take care of the obligations and the responsibilities that God had forgiven them, amen, to be the leaders of their home, amen, and also to be that representative. Hallelujah. So we're just grateful. Amen, that we recognize fatherhood today. Amen. There's awesome wives and mothers. Amen. Amen. Who are serving right along with them. Amen. As we go into the Word of God, we know that a lot of you have made uh, preparations and things for to celebrate on today. And we just, again, are so thankful for you. Amen. It's good have to see you. Amen. Uh, Amen. Rogers with us on today. Amen. 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 praying for him and his lovely wife. Amen. And we are grateful for our mother. Amen. Beauty, Mother Joyce is here as well. We appreciate the Lord's country and these wonderful servants as they come to worship the Lord. Amen. And again, we thank God for Evangelist, amen, Blankster, praise God. And the Lord is just mighty and good, and it's so good to see my good friend, amen, and brother, amen, Jeff Williams, amen, we appreciate him, amen, and I believe he had, she had a birthday not too long ago, amen, we celebrate him on today, amen, and we are so grateful for our brother and sister who come and shared with us. Amen. And they're here on today as well. Amen. Truly the Lord is good. Amen. And so if you would stand with me as we go to the word of God. Amen. We just want to give you a little something. Amen. For Father's Day. Father God, we thank you on to this morning for your loving kindness. For you are the giver of all good and perfect gifts. And we honor you and we give you all the praise that you would bless us on today. We need a word from you, oh God, to inspire and motivate us that we can continue to run as never before and continue to fight this good fight of faith. Yes. And we honor you in this, we pray, for fathers everywhere, in the mighty name of Jesus, and yet those who are sick and on the prayer request for speedy recovery. We thank you for the fatherless. We thank you for those who are struggling Amen. And they need that leadership. And we are honoring them today that you would open doors in the name of Jesus that has been shut and close doors that need closing. And we praise you and we honor you in Jesus we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 And if you could be so kind and go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 1, emphasis on verses 8 and 9. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 1. Praise the Lord. Amen. Verse 8 and 9. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8. 
It says, my son, hear the instructions of your father. Do not forsake the law of your mother. For they will be a graceful ointment on your head and a chain about your neck. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Again, we are so grateful for you awesome fathers that are here and the saints of God. Amen. And I thought we wanted to share on this day. There are so many uh, themes and topics and so many are spaying about fathers. Amen. And we want to share from this word of God a father's responsibility. Amen. Amen. As a father, you have a responsibility. Not only responsibility, but you have an accountability that God is expecting of you uh, as a leader of your family. You set the tone. You set the, the momentum. Amen. He said, he that desires to destroy the house first must bind the strong man. Hallelujah. And so therefore, the enemy, the devil himself, He's doing everything he can to destroy uh, the image of the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. But we are grateful that the Lord is able, through his word, yes. the men will stand on the word of God and stay in the word of God. Yeah. Amen. They will be successful yeah. in their leadership as fathers and husbands and amen and servants that God will honor and be pleased with. So a father's responsibility, hallelujah, by action speaks louder than words. Uh -huh. This is especially true in the home. Oh, children learn their values. They learn their morals uh -huh. and, and, and priorities by observing uh, how their parents act. Oh, my. Especially how the father acts. Oh, praise God, and reacts every day. I say that I'm the rooster in my barnyard. 44256 Carroll Side Avenue. I do all the crow in that barnyard. Why? Because God is holding me accountable. How I treat my wife. Huh? How I rear my children and grandchildren. Amen. And see, I don't have no problem of putting something on. Oh my. I have nieces. Amen. They would easily call me and say, well, one of their child is acting up. And they say, well, I'm going to take you to Uncle Emmanuel. Huh? And so therefore, it's not that we are, are being rude or mean, but we love them. Because God said, whom he chases, he loves them. Hallelujah. So therefore, our children is learning from us. And we need to be that example, that role model that is required. And if parents exhibit a deep reverence for the de and, and dependence on God, the children will catch this attitude as well. Uh, when they see you love to go to church, and when they see that you have a desire to worship God, amen, it motivates them to do likewise. Amen. Hallelujah. Parents must show reverence for God by living rightly before their children. Uh-huh. Can I be in church and you are testifying that you love God and then when you're at home, you're doing something entirely different. Uh, children are watching. Oh, and they are mimicking and they are remembering. Yeah. Uh, you can come to vacation Bible school and, and you can ask some of these little ones here who to shout like uh, First Lady or Mother Langston or uh, 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 somebody. And you'd be surprised. They can, they can shout just like me. Why? Because they're watching. Yeah. They are looking. Hallelujah. Teach them right, then, by giving worship an important place uh -huh, in your family's life. And it's important that parents uh, 
would take time to read the word with them. Amen. Let them read the word. Oh, praise God. And we admire our youth leaders and, and uh, them working with our youth, teaching them the word of God, holding them accountable for what God requires. Yeah. So fathers have a tremendous responsibility yes. with reading where they used to be in the past. Deacon Rogers, where men could not go into the delivery room. Fathers wasn't going into the delivery room when their wives were giving birth. And they would sit in the waiting room. Hallelujah. They would sit in the waiting room and waiting to hear uh, the report from the nurse if the child has been delivered. These three men were in the waiting room waiting for uh, their wives that were in labor. Uh -huh. And they were in the delivery room. Uh -huh. And here, uh, Brother Smith was sitting in there and his, the nurse came in the, the, into the waiting room and said, Mr. Smith, he stood up and said, yes. He says, your wife has two dogs. Twins. Oh my goodness, he just celebrated and he began to shout and thanking God. Oh my goodness, I got two daughters. And he just, oh, elated. And he said, You know, by the way, I, I work for a uh, uh, double mint chewing gum company. And just amazing, I have two daughters. And in and, and, and about 15, 20 minutes later, the nurse comes in and says, Mr. Jones. And he says, oh, here, I'm here. He says, uh, your wife just had three sons. And they're healthy and in good health, shape. And oh, my goodness. He starts shouting and as if they were playing music and praise and worship. He says, I'm blessed to have three sons. By the way, you know, I work for the 3M company. Yeah. And oh my, the other man, he, he fell and he fainted. The third man fainted, fell out on the floor. They turned up and went to him and wanted to know what had happened. What's wrong? What's going on? They, they, they worked on him to revive him. And he said, and, and, and he said, well, uh, uh, I, 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 I heard uh, Smith uh, working for the bubble gum company or the chewing gum and he had uh, double mint and he had two dogs. And I heard Mr. Jones and his wife had three sons and he worked for the 3M company. He said, but I work for Century 21. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> because he is, and if God is going to, to grant you and bless you, oh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to 21. Oh, my sons and daughters. Hallelujah. And it is important as a father to be responsible for the responsibility of your home. Oh, as a father, there are three important Amen. Rules that God's word requires of a father and the responsibility that he must provide. Yes. First, as a protector. Uh -huh. Psalms 103 and 13. So God and uh, the father is a protector of his home. Uh -huh. He's responsible for the, the safety. Amen. There at home. Amen. And he says in Psalm 103 and 13, as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. Huh? It is important as a father to be responsible and to be that protector of your home. Amen. Be the first protector huh? of the fruit. Amen. Somebody comes to the door. Amen. At night, you should be the first one up. Uh, to go to the door and see who it is. Hallelujah. Amen. Not just send the wife. 
to go as a father, you are responsible. You are the protector. There should be standards. There should be rules. Amen. That everybody has to apply by. So that there will be safety and protection. Amen. Of the home. Hallelujah. We are fragile. But God cares. Huh? Is eternal. Too often we focus on God as a judge and a lawgiver. Praise the Lord. Ignoring his compassion and concern for us. Yes. Praise the Lord. When God examines our lives, uh -huh. he remembers our human condition. Yes, Praise the Lord. Huh? Our weakness should never be used as a justification for sin. Amen. Hallelujah. You are responsible. Amen. As a man, as a father, as a husband. To be the protector of your home and your family. Amen. Amen. Making sure that things are done orderly and in, 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 in right so that everybody can be safe and be blessed. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And secondly, as a father and the responsibility that you have to show is a provider. Yes. Huh? Father's responsibility today is to provide for the family. You gotta be able to get up and go to work. Can't be lazy. Can't be waiting on somebody to give you a hand out. Oh no. Father is responsible for to a provider for the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You make ways to be able to bring food and finance to the home so that everyone can be comfortable and blessed. Amen. Genesis chapter 1, verse 29 and 30. Hallelujah. Amen. Is another responsibility as a provider in Genesis 1, 29 and 30. And God said, see, I have given you every herb and yield fruit or seeds which is on the face of all the earth. And every tree whose fruit yields seed, hallelujah, to you it shall be food. Also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to every uh, everything that creeps on the earth, in which there is life, I have given every green herb for food. And it was so, hallelujah. As God provides for man, so we, as fathers, huh, are to provide for our family. Amen. amen. We should be the one making sure, amen, that food and essentials is available. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Good fathers make sure that the, 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 the food and the items and essentials that is provided is not wasted. Huh? You, you are concerned about uh, the uh, using the necessary amount of tissue paper and paper towels and leaving the water running and you know, the lights on. And all of this is a, as a provider, you on, you've got to be on top of it. Yes, I, I know there are wives and mothers who work and bring in more than you do. But that don't give you the excuse of not doing nothing. Right. Well, good fathers know how to use what is brought in. Amen. Huh? A good father, if he is doing his job as a man of God, don't be tripping about his wife bringing more money in the house than he is. Amen. He ought to be out there in the middle of the street doing the moonwalk in his church here. <laughs> Grateful that she is bringing her money home. Uh, and if he is living right and doing right, he would know how to use what is brought in. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Even in the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Matthew, chapter 7, verse 9 and 11. Oh, glory to God. Amen. There are responsibilities that fathers need to own up to. Amen. This is one of the things Bishop Callie used to tell us all the time. The thing, the problem with America is the decline of fatherhood. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. 
Hey, we have more baby daddies than we ever had in the history of the United States of America. Uh, and there's responsibilities and accountability that they're falling far short from. Uh -huh. Amen. Society is making it easy. Right. Hallelujah. For them to get away with murder. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 7, verse 9 and 11. It says, Or well, what man is there among you who, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent? Ah, uh, and if you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give you, huh, uh, things of those who are asking of him? Hallelujah. It is a responsibility of a father to provide and make sure that there is not only food, but there is essentials and comfort in the home. Amen. Hallelujah. And you will not have this function, you will not have this drive and this desire if you ain't giving your heart to God. Uh -huh. You need the Spirit of the Lord in you. And He will give you the wisdom, He will give you the knowledge of how to take a little and make a lot out of it. Amen. Huh? And when your child asks you, for something, you would be willing to give it. I've seen fathers and making tremendous sacrifices, yeah. especially mothers who have, in most cases, have fulfilled the role of the father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when they ask them for something, they will make every effort to get it for their child. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Dave said the child comes and asks for some Air Jordans. And those shoes over a hundred and something dollars. Huh? Oh my goodness. I, I, I can't see it, Brother Father. I, it's hard for me to buy a pair of shoes that's going to cost over a hundred dollars. I, I go right down there to Goodwill, uh, the Salvation Army. Huh? Uh, because cost of living is high. Amen. And you know, uh oh, you got to be wise. But a, but a mother's love for her child, she will make that sacrifice. That's right. Amen. To get them the thing that they come and ask for. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And thirdly, amen. Uh, God, amen. He says here, amen, as these three roles are important roles as a protector or provider. Then thirdly, a disciplinary. Hallelujah. A father is a good disciplinary. Amen. He knows how to keep control. He knows how to honor and have the children to honor and respect their mother. Huh? The boys not to re and also teaching them how to respect uh, their sister. Huh? Amen. It's important as a father that the, 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 the boys grow up learning to respect their mother. Amen. Uh, if mama say no, it's no. Uh, in my house growing up, if mama said no, you can't have it, I wouldn't dare go and ask, tell the old man, hey, could I do it? And he's going to say, what did your mama say? Yeah. When she said no. Then I would get a whooping for him, for her saying no. Hallelujah. Yeah, it's out of respect to your mother. Hallelujah. Good fathers, the responsibility of disciplinary. Praise the Lord. Don't let them just do what they want to do. Hallelujah. Huh? It, it, it says in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. Praise God. Amen. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4. It says, And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath. But bring them up in the training and admonition of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh huh. The purpose of parental discipline is to help the children to grow, not to hurt or discourage them. Amen. I remember those whooping 
why I'm getting women telling me it's hurting me more than it's hurting you. Yeah. I could never understand that concept. Huh? I'm the one standing there in my fruit of the looms, and I'm the one getting whooped. Huh? Mama didn't want to whoop my pants. They said it cost too much. Hallelujah. Uh, but it's hurting them more than it's hurting me. Oh, praise the Lord. Uh-huh. Amen. It is important to have discipline. Amen. And that is the purpose. Amen. Is to help them to grow. Amen. And to honor and to be respectful. Amen. When your child will honor and respect you at home, huh? they will not be down at the school giving the teachers fits. They will not be in a correctional facility where my son Corey is a, a director or working for. Yeah. Uh, you, know, you wouldn't have children sitting up there locked up huh? because they don't mind. They don't want to obey and do right. Huh? If you love your child, you will huh? You will ch chastise them. Because God's word said who he loved, he chased it. Amen. And my parents believe that to the teeth. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. And parenting is not easy. Uh -huh. It takes a lot of patience to raise children eh, in a loving and a godly manner. In this day and age that we're living in now, you need the dripping anointing of the Holy Ghost yes, to raise your children. Uh, when I came up, huh, I, I, any parent could whoop me. Uh -huh. Even if I went to school and I acted up in class, uh, the principal can call me in the office and he will come up with a paddle, bring the secretary in there as a witness, uh, because the parents had said they had the disciplinary, uh, 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 been, they have uh, they already assigned that the child can be disciplined and they get out of line. Uh, these children now are cursing teachers and, and disrespectful and, and doing things out of the ordinary. Huh? Amen. And listen, it, it, it's hard to, to be a parent during this time, especially if you don't have Christ in your life. And over 86% of the children that is in the school uh -huh, are coming up in a home where mama is doing everything. Hallelujah. And therefore, when they are out because of the lack of discipline, right. amen, then they are out of control. Yeah. And they are doing things that is unseemly. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And they have no respect for the house of God. Yes. They be willing to break in the church. And they will be willing to vandalize the parking and the structure and the yards of the, of the house of God. Yeah. Amen. amen. They come in your house and steal and do things that's out of the, out of the will of God. Amen. Amen. And then we up there saying they are racially profiled. Uh, we are saying that the officers are rude and mean. Yeah. Hallelujah. But I'm a true believer. I'm a true believer. If you live right as a man and you are raising your children up in a God-fearing home, you are not going to have some of this calamity that is happening to others. Uh, Hallelujah. I honestly believe to this day that the Lord would not allow huh, an officer to pull me over huh, and then shoot me for some stupid reason. Huh? Because the Lord said he will keep me. Huh? He said his hands of protection is upon me. As a father, my responsibility is to be a holy man of God. Huh? Standing on the principles of the Lord. You just don't let any bro, any man come up your house, any boy want to come and see your daughter without seeing you. Huh? You that ain't that ain't right. I don't believe a father, a good father, would allow a man, a boy to come and like your daughter. I appreciate him liking her, because I'd rather he like her than him. Huh? But the fact of the matter, he comes and hey, he got to meet me. You got to meet the rooster. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I get a chance to give my validation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because if you do something to her, you're going to cause me to do something to you. Yeah. Huh? That's my child. Yeah. Huh? And as a father, God said he will protect you. Huh? He will keep you. He will bless you going out and coming. Yeah. Your response. 
responsibility, hallelujah, as a disciplinary. Oh, praise God. For who the Lord loves, he's chasing. Ah, and scourges every son who he receives. Amen. Amen. I thank God for my sons. Amen. They're not wimps. Huh? They're not monkey sees and monkey do. Praise the Lord. They are responsible. They have accountability. Hallelujah. They are representing even children that don't have a father. Or the father is not active in their lives. Hallelujah. Verse 7 even says, if you endure chasing, God deals huh, with you as with sons. For what son is there whom the father does not chase? Huh? Uh, and if you love your child, if you love your sons and daughters, you will chase them when they are alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But if you are without chasing, of which all becomes partakers, then you are illegitimate and not sons. You're not recognized as a son of God. Huh? When you don't do right by it. Amen. It is important to be a father. Huh? It's more than just having a baby. Huh? You've got to be an example. You've got to be responsible. you got to show accountability. Hallelujah. Because that child is watching everything you do. Everything you say. Hallelujah. Amen. And you want them to grow up and be grateful and be responsible, then you got to do it first. Uh, furthermore, we have had human fathers uh -huh, who corrected us, and we paid them respect. Shall we not much more readily uh, be in subjection to the Father of God, of the Spirit, uh, and live? Amen. If we honor and respect, I'm, I'm command, not demanding. I command respect yes. for my children. Yes. Huh? I do. I, I'm respectful to them. I treat them with respect. Yes. Huh? And then, then to return, yes. they give it back. Right. This is what God was for us right. as men and women of God. We honor God by giving Him the respect. We reverence Him. Yes. Hallelujah. And in turn, he reverence us. Right. Amen. Praise the Lord. For they indeed, for a few days, chasteneth us as seemed best for them. But he, for our profit, that we may be partakers of his holiness. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Those are the reason why our correctional facility wasn't overrun by our youth. It's because of the disciplinary that was given in the parents. And then society got in. The devil himself get elected into office. And then they alter it around. People making decisions don't even have children. Huh? And they're saying that you cannot uh, corporal punish your child. You cannot even verbally threaten them. I remember this time. I remember that so long for so long time. Oh, good God Almighty. Big Mama would do it. I'm telling you, they discipline. They said to man, you go in there and wash those dishes. Oh, I used to just ate me, just get under my skin. My chat's my hide. I gotta wash dishes. All my sisters. That's they, that's women's job to wash dishes. And I'm in there washing the dishes and throwing the sparks in, in the other side of the sink. Man, I just didn't care for it. And grandma, big mama said, Hey, dog, that boy don't want to wash them dishes. I'm in there. Huh? I'm washing them. She said, oh, no, he don't want to wash them dishes. Oh, I heard my fork. My fork just told me he didn't want to wash them. Uh, I did not. Oh, because he was here and I was throwing them over in the other sink. Huh? I was just laying a plate in there. I was just throwing it in there. And she didn't hear, oh, baby, that, that spoon just called my name. Hallelujah. And the mama come in and says, you don't want to this. I said, yeah, I'm it. And then I, I get a whooping right there. Yeah. Backhand licks. Yeah. Oh, my. Some of y'all don't know. You might not know about the backhand licks. Oh, they can use the backhand licks. It's tough. Huh? Out of nowhere, it comes down. Bam! Oh, you is some nasty standing up. Huh? And because they discipline you, they made you mind and honor and respect 
and go. But the word should honor them. Obey your mother and father that your name be Lord. Huh? Those that have rule over you. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God is, hallelujah, the greatest father you will ever have. He is the greatest father that I have this morning. Hallelujah. My biological father might be going to go. Hallelujah. But God is yet my father. And he is here today. Hallelujah. He is my protector. When I'm in trouble, he's there. On the other hand, he said he will not leave me company. That the angel of the Lord will encamp around the back. He is my protector. Thank you. 